back everyone, Toys is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we're totally checking out all the new for 2021 Masters of the Universe Battle Armor, Skeletor Battle Armor, He-Man, and of course Panthor, the unflocked version. The flocked version will be at Walmart later in the spring so keep an eye out for that exclusively. The box art on this is fantastic, the packaging, I've never had these version i'm not i'm learning he-man i'm getting into he-man with the he-man origins line and it's fun it's ridiculous so before you start going oh he said this wrong or because uh, i said chomp clamp one time or whatever just have fun with this okay i'm i'm having fun so just sit back and relax but my order for panthor came in and he's cool i mean it's grown men muscular men fighting each other on giant cats yeah, why not, right? I mean, little saddles on him. Yeah, I've said it once and I've said it before. He-Man is bat poop crazy. Here's the barcode for Panthor. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, new for 2021, Masters of the Universe, He-Man Origins, Battle Armor He-Man, Skeletor, and of course, Panthor. A lot of ores in that one. And here's everything taken out of the box and on the little spinny turntable wheel and you get to see He-Man launching his mighty sword and he's got like a blast effect now. He's got the power. That's the power coming down to his sword. It comes with an axe, multiple heads for him, an extra hand. Skeletor, same thing, extra hand, two heads on him. I like Skeletor a lot. I think he's cool. I like the more mad face. Comes with a shield as well. Panther. Panthor is just a repaint. I get it. I wish that they would have done a little bit more with Panthor. Make him look mean or mad. I don't know. Just something to give him more of that, like, it's Skeletor's evil beast kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because he's really, the expression on his face is like, like, ah, you know? It's yeah, But Skeletor looks good. I mean, look at this. He's just so evil looking all the time. But he, man is cool when you have the classic head on him i think for the most part the armor is interesting it's gimmicky but it's cool this head i'll show you in a second i was a little bit like why this is an odd head to put on him but it kind of makes sense hold on one second we're getting to it but i like the blast effect the energy effect i guess you could say he's got weapon storage you can put the sword right there in the back so that's cool here's where that head kind of plays in if you battle armor scar him He's kind of like, ah, you know what I mean? So that's how that kind of works. Otherwise, it's kind of a weird head, to be honest. But if you haven't already seen the articulation for these that are really all the same, you can pull off the arms and the heads and swap out all the appendages and everything else. So for this type of figure, for how they have implemented new articulation for the classic versions of He-Man, it's pretty cool. And I give it to him all day. I like that he has so much mobility, move around, weapons, storage, like how that fits in there. Unfortunately, the axe will not go in there. It's too big of a ball on the end of the axe. But with the effect, right? You're supposed to hit his armor, and then the armor flip, you push it in, and it flip. It's like on a rotating thing. So it's cool. It looks like you're inflicting battle damage. I dig it. When you want to reset it, you just kind of twist it there. Bingo, bango. Yeah, he's all healed again. Ready to do more battle. Flip out the heads. This head is definitely the one to have. As far as Panthor and Skeletor go, these are my favorite. The villains are always cooler anyways. Skeletor looks good. I like the frowny face. I like how they, that's how a skeleton would frown. It's just like, hmm, you know. But he sits on top of Panthor really nice. Every figure will fit on top of Panthor if you're interested before anyone types that down. If you have He-Man Origins, you can do it. I believe in you. But with Skeletor, same exact articulation as He-Man. There is no difference whatsoever. He comes with his Havoc staff. Yeah, I'm learning stuff. It's not just a goat ram staff. It's a, it's a Havoc staff. I like the shield a lot. Big problem though. Doesn't fit on his wrist. In fact, I've already kind of messed up his arm a few times trying to fit it in there because it's digging into the plastic. So that's a bummer, right? But I'm just not happy with that. Let's just say. I don't like damaging my figures when you're trying to just use them, play with them, show them off. But again, the head is cool. He's got weapon storage. You can put the two halves of the power sword together. I really wish that they would just make full-blown like they did with the SCCC. I have an actual sword that they made that came with He-Man. This is cool, but let's do full-on just whole halves of the power swords, I think. Or different weapons. How about that? 
can't really fit in it. I mean, you can't get it down as much as a sword. It kind of, you know, becomes bigger. It's a fatter now sword. But that's just nitpicking at this point. Really like the bat armor. Again, same type of gimmick. You can push in right there. It does battle armor damage. This head is odd for Skeletor. I kind of get it. This is the goofiness of He-Man. He's got like a smiley face to him. Like he's all proud of himself. So I think that this is good for photos or having fun and whatnot. <laughs> Just don't think about it too much. Panthor's cool. Again, he's a repaint of Battle Cat. Same exact articulation. I'm not stoked. I wish they would have given him a different head. I think, you know, just a more menacing something that degree. You can pull the saddle off if you really want to. Arms kick out. No ball joint. That was the problem when I looked at Battle Cat earlier. I wish he had rockers in the hand, in the feet, right? The actual feet. So you could get him posing up, rearing up, things of that nature. I like the tail is articulated. That's good, right? You got a lot of articulation in the tail, mouth moves, everything else. Actually comes with a new comic book, right? They put these little mini comics in there. The backside shows all the new uh, cells. And while you're here, maybe consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Old toys, new toys, daily news, updates, everything and anything. I guarantee you, you'll find something here that you like. So again, to reiterate, I'm having a blast with He-Man Origins. It's fun. It's my introduction to He-Man. I rebuilt Castle Grayskull last year, the original 80s one. Definitely check out my video if you haven't already. They're bright, they're fun, they're colorful. I didn't include them on my best of 2020 list because of the Walmart distribution. Now that they're everywhere, I hope that more people get a chance to own these things. I hope that Wave 2 hits Target, right? Missing a bunch from that. I have Scareglow, but no one else. And Wave 3 is starting to hit with She-Ra and the other villains and such. So this is going to be a fun year, I think, for Masters of the Universe. I'm digging it. I'm on board. But I'm curious to know you guys' thoughts. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man Origins. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, or whatever it is. This is what I do when I look at these things. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Well, now this looks interesting and fun, huh?